And I'm taking the shade Silk Creme or Cream and I'm taking that straight into the crease of my eyelids and blending it upwards using a wiping motion. Making sure to really blend that shade into my crease so that the other shades that I apply later blend seamlessly with this one. Here I'm taking the shade Butter back into the crease to just deepen it. And I'm making sure that it blended really well with the first shade that I applied. And here I'm going with the shade Buns back into my crease in that outer corner to deepen the look a little bit. Here I've taken the shade Jax right into that outer corner of my eye and down the eyelid about midway just to create a little bit more gradient and add some color in there. Right here, I'm taking Roxanne and Jax, the color that I used previously, and using both of those very, very lightly, blending into that outer corner and slightly up onto the eyelid, um, which is gonna help later with creating a sense of gradient in the eyeshadow colors. Just Jax again into that lash line and working it into the outer corner so that I have a little bit more depth and color in there just one more time. I'm taking Little Lady on a flat brush and I'm working that onto my eyelid about halfway until you get to that outer corner gradient. I'm gonna go in with my finger as well. I find that it provides more pigmentation so you can actually see the peachiness of the color. I'm now taking Sissy also on my finger and applying that from the halfway to about three quarters of the way on my eyelid. And right here I'm taking her shade Beam, which is a really nice shimmery champagne and I'm taking that on the inner corner and under my eyebrow. Here I'm taking the shade Hunts and I'm applying that into the crease has a really nice red tone to it, so it's just going to add some color and some gradient, and we're going to blend that in with the previous colors. Baby. 
here I'm going back in with Jax and I'm just deepening that lash line color, making sure that it's visible once all the other colors are blended on. I'm now starting with the face makeup and I'm using my beauty blender to apply the Maybelline Superstay foundation in the shade 120. I'm starting from the middle of my face on my cheeks. I have the most pigmentation here and acne spots so this is how I cover that without applying too much makeup to the entirety of my face. I'm applying the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer in the shade 10 Ivory. I'm taking that right under the eyes and a little bit more inward so that I can cover up all the purple bags under my eyes. I'm not applying too much however because I don't want it to cake up. I'm applying the concealer up the bridge of my nose, forehead between my brows, center of the chin, and under my nose to create highlight. It helps eliminate the flat look from the foundation. I'm using the other side of the sponge to pat the concealer into the foundation. This way I can pick up any excess product and not put down more foundation. Applying the concealer below the nose into the smile crease helps to eliminate any shadowing or creasing that you might get later from foundation. Now taking the concealer back towards my temples, cleaning up the eyeshadow and creating a smoky winged effect. I'm using Revlon's Nearly Naked Pressed Powder in the shade 10 Fair to set my concealer and foundation. You can use any powder that you want, whether it's pressed or loose.
I'm using Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer to warm up the outside of my face, below my cheekbone, jawline, forehead, and down my neck, you know, to be a little extra. I'm taking the same fluffy brush that I used for the bronzer and applying the e.l.f. contour blush and bronzer powder in Fiji Matte directly into the hollows of my cheekbone. Using that same duo compact from e.l.f. I'm applying the blush to the apples of my cheeks and very slightly dragging it up towards my cheekbone. For highlight, I'm using the Tarte and Whitney Simmons collaboration in the shade Flex, applying that to the cupid's bow, the nose, and my cheekbones. I'm dipping back into that same highlight and applying it to the inner corner using a small angled brush. Going in with Jack's yet again from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I'm smudging it into my lower lash line. Using the same fluffy brush, I'm taking Silk Creme and blending it just under Jack's. I'm using my favorite mascara, L'Oreal Voluminous Original in Black. To get my lashes thick, I apply the mascara directly to the root and wiggle the brush. And then to get the top of my lashes, the very tips of it, to be more voluminous, I continue to add on a little bit of mascara in small motions. For lips, I'm using one of my favorite liquid lipsticks, the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Seduction. I typically go for a more nude look when I'm doing something more dramatic on the eyes, but if you want, you can go in with really any shade you prefer. And that completes the look. Comment below if you had made it this far in the video. Click that like button and subscribe before you leave. Bye guys.